break. <sighs> How did y'all feel kind of at the half there? You know, you were controlling the game, you know, yardage-wise, but just enough bad plays kind of on offense, defense, special teams to kind of make it a game there. What was the, the mood and what did y'all kind of feel like at that point? Uh, we just rallied together, knew we had to pick it up. Uh, missed a bunch of throws, uh, could add some more scores, and we just couldn't finish drives. I mean, we were putting together great drives and just couldn't finish. About that, the big six there on the first minute of the game. I know the, the thing you always say is you don't want to let an underdog kind of hang around and get off to a good start. And then is that what's going through your head as soon as that play happens? Uh, I just went to the wrong side. I just saw something I didn't like on the other side and decided to go that side and was wrong. Derek said you guys were pretty calm in the locker room at halftime. There wasn't any sort of sense of panic. Or just resolve. I mean, did you sense that that you guys just felt like you were going to go out and take care of business on the second half? Uh, yeah, I mean, we uh, we were putting together drives. Defense was making stops. We just couldn't finish, and we knew we weren't going to do that all night. We knew that eventually they were going to get tired. So I think we ran 60 plays in the first half. So we knew they were going to get tired and they were going to wear down. That's what happened. You guys bounced back this week, Tyler, the way you needed to going into the stretch of SEC games, which you have obviously starting in Georgia next week. Uh, the first half, no, but uh, we finished the game, which we didn't do uh, last week, so that was good. Tyler, uh, said last year you're not a doctor. What, what is wrong with you? You sound so cold. Today. I don't know. They just give me medicine. I take it, and hopefully I get better. Tyler, Coach Dooley uh, said that early in the game, Akron was doing all kinds of crazy stuff defensively. What, what were they doing, giving you different looks than you had as they uh, their linebackers were just moving around a lot. Defensive linemen were moving around. Uh, secondary wasn't really doing too much we hadn't seen before. It was just up front trying to run the ball it was a little difficult and blocking scheme wise. Talk about on the other night. Uh, all our running backs played great. I mean, he caught. I think he's the one that caught the touchdown. You caught the touchdown, right? Mm -hmm. Caught the touchdown on the swing route and uh, ran it in. He played great. Where's your confidence? You've had two pretty good games, but it looks like you've really you know, tried to get as many yards as you could. Uh, where's your confidence now as you guys kind of move forward? My confidence is pretty high. You know, the, uh, it starts up front with those guys, man. I got a lot of confidence in those guys, and they believe in me. And they, they, they put me in some good situations, and all I need to do is just finish. So, you know, my confidence is high. I'm standing under my coaches. Um, I'm understanding what I'm told to be done. And I'm just really focusing and, and just watching what these other teams are doing and just playing under my old line. Tyler, for all the things that, that went well for you all tonight, I think you were combining third and fourth downs, I think five to 16. Is it just execution? You know, I think five of 14 on third down, 0 2 on fourth down. Mm -hmm. Is that just, just poor executions along the way, or what, what was going on? Bad throws. Uh, I missed zero on a couple tonight. Uh, I think I missed pig on a couple tonight. Just, just was a little off. It starts with my footwork, though. I kind of, I don't want to say I got lazy, just kind of got into the game and wasn't really thinking about it. I was just trying to make certain throws and didn't. Tyler, can you talk about coming back from the early pimp since coming back from that? Oh, yeah, I made the wrong read. I knew they got on the phone with Chaney, and he's, I mean, what are you doing? And I'm like, I explained it to him. He's like, all right, let's just go back out there. And uh, I think we got a field goal the next drive, something like that. I'm not sure. One more for Tyler. How much did y'all need this kind of going forward? I know you're trying to program yourself to kind of go on to the next game anyway, but to win this game and do it as well as you did in the second half, does that make you feel better going down to Athens next week? Oh, yeah, everyone's healthy too, so that's going to help a lot. I mean, the guys were a little banged up last year, and, I mean, everyone's healthy and ready to go. Should be a good game. All right, Tyler, thanks. Same question for Rajon. Rajon, do you feel like it kind of looks like after the first game, Sort of improved going forward every game. And you haven't seen film yet. Do you feel like this game was another step in the right direction for you? Yeah, you know, I, I was told that I did some things well, and there was still some things I needed to work on. But in all, I, I feel like I'm, you know, taking taking a step forward every week, kind of, you know, fixing the things that I kind of messed up last week. So uh, I, I feel I'm, I feel I'm moving in the right direction, and my coaches are doing a great job helping me and kind of breaking down the film and really have me focus on things that I kind of had problems with. I think that's more than 50 touches if you combine kind of runs and catches in the past two weeks for you. How do you feel physically? You don't seem like you're kind of limping or jumping or anything like that. No, the, 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 the trainers take a real good care of me. They, uh, you know, they make sure I get in there for treatment, uh, give me my little extra things that I may be needing. Uh, you know, I, I make sure I do what I need to be ready for the following weeks. And the coaches do a great job of taking care of us too.
you know, John Coach has been talking in previous weeks about you being you just get you know, north and south, and obviously you've had a couple of your better games the last two weeks. Is it when you're consciously trying to get north and south, and now is it becoming more second nature to you? You're just running, you know, with more, the, more determination to be on the hill. I'm conscious of it, but as the game goes on, it just becomes second nature because it's. We stress it so much in practice, it's just repetition and, you know, we watch Fam and he, you know, he talks to me, believe it or not, before every play I do, just getting downhill, holding on to the ball and just being productive, just knowing how to manage the game. Tyler talks to you before every play? Tyler and Coach Graham. I have a lot of the guys, you know, stay in my ear, tell me, just, just hit it. Brayson, who handles the running back rotation? Is that Coach Graham? Is that Coach Chaney? Who handles who, who goes in for you guys? Coach Graham.